Ah, there you are. On this channel I fix Porter Studios and then I record music on them. I've been trying to get away from recording other people's music and move towards recording my own music. This means I've got to come up with my own lyrics and out of a mixture of laziness, insecurity and curiosity I used a program called Writer, which is an artificial intelligence program to write lyrics for a metal song that I recorded recently on a Tascam Port 02. And now for your listening displeasure, here's an excerpt of what I came out with. I got the My psychological hang-ups about lyrics are as follows. In my experience, a lot of lyrics are shit, like a lot worse than poetry. As a listener, I find that quite disappointing, but as a writer, that just puts me under insane personal pressure to do better. The trouble is, a lot of the time I don't really know what it is I've got to say, and when I do know what I've got to say, I worry that it's irrelevant or redundant or offensive or inoffensive just not that entertaining. As a 20-something in the 2000s, I was able to harness the narcissism o youth to plough through my anxieties, but as my self-assurance has waned, the age of social media has arisen. At the moment, there's so many people projecting their egos into the public domain, I feel like it might be contributing to global warming. That sort of makes me want to opt out of communicating with anyone and just go fetal in the corner and send my creative impulses to the knackers yard. By contrast, the thing that I love about metal is it has none of those hang-ups. Metal is simultaneously the most and least grandiose art form that you can possibly think of. It's so oblivious it might actually be self-aware. It's pointless, it might even know it, and if it does, it definitely doesn't care. For instance, as much as I love the music of the Beatles, John Lennon thought he could end the war in Vietnam by staying in bed. By contrast, Metal's take on war is, war exists, let's write songs about it. Lots of songs. It knows it's the last days of Rome, so it says, fuck it, let's bypass the cerebral campus and go straight for the hypothalamus with a kick-ass song about a army of the undead having unprotected sex. So a bunch of ways came to mind about how I might source inspiration for my metal lyrics. I could watch documentaries about serial killers, look up synonyms for destruction in a thesaurus, read articles about extreme weather, crowdsource ideas for Dungeons and Dragons modules from excited 10 year olds. But all of that seems a bit like hard work and it would still leave my fragile ego culpable for the end result. Eventually I figured out that by getting an AI to not only write lyrics but write metal lyrics, I could give my anxious soul the plausible deniability that it craves. So I typed AI lyric generator into Google and there were plenty of results, most of which were horribly disappointing. They asked me where I had my first kiss which was behind an ice rink. They asked me what I missed about being a kid and I said Lego and Dungeons and Dragons. Anyway, you get the picture, like, I don't think the singularity is upon us if this is what artificial intelligence can do. A lot of them are in the style of generators, so you're asked for nouns and verbs, and then those word substitutions are put into a well-known song. Something you can master. Soldering. Something you can pull. Curtain. Something you can smash. Dreams. Something you can twist an arm. Something fast. Electricity. Something terrifying. Old age. A number. 350. That's the number of degrees Celsius that my soldering iron is at. Write me metal lyrics. Master of soldering and pulling your curtain. Twisting your arm and smashing your dreams. Blinded by me, you can't see the... Right, okay, so it's just Metallica. Fuck. Others allowed you to pick an artist and in response they'd spit out an amalgam of bits of songs by that artist. Create a song in the style of Insane Clown Posse. Chopping redneck chicken necks, I ain't no way, grab me a 50, then call you lumpy, so let me out. Right, pass. 
What I'd been hoping for was something that extrapolated a lot of material from input sentences provided by the user. So I don't know how it's going to do that. Is it going to cross-reference connotations of those words, do some in the background internet checks? I mean, I don't know. I don't design these things. And the closest thing that I found to that is a program called Writer. Song idea, a lonely man on the verge of the apocalypse. Give me three variants. Writer is not free software, it's a subscription model, although you get a kind of free trial where it will generate X number of words before you have to start paying for it. And so in my case, I generated the ideas for the song using my free limit. I found I was getting about 90% chaff to 10% wheat, if you like. Unsafe. There's a new wind blowing like I've never known. I'm breathing deeper than I've ever done. So I just hit right again, and um, you know, it's giving me a lot more of the same shit. Now there's just one thing, my home's dark. Uh, oh, she never listened. So blah, 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 drivel. But here, look at this gem. I'm the only man who hasn't spoken since the rivers turned to blood. My eyes are blinded by a world that's turning red, right? I'm fucking having that. Oh, just a line down, look at this. I want to set anything on fire as long as it means you'll come running to me. Check out the gaslighting satanic vibes and that. That's what we want in a metal song, isn't it? I only got a couple of complete usable sentences by the time I'd used up all the words that were in my trial account. But Actually, that was enough to get the job done. I mean, I had to have my curatorial slash editing hat on in order to get something that I was somewhat happy with. And I only sort of like the results, but I have to consider how far I might have got if I'd been starting from scratch. Because honestly, any time I've written lyrics in the past that I was actually happy with, those were completed at an absolutely glacial pace. Using writer and massaging the results took me less than half an hour, and realistically, in that sort of time frame, on my own, I wouldn't have got anywhere. I am encouraged enough by this experiment that I may continue to pursue using writer or as a tool to generate ideas for lyrics quickly. I think I'll also have a bit of a look around for other tools for random generation of music. Just that whole thing of getting past like a blank canvas, the initial writer's block part of things because speaking for myself like once the ball's rolling I'm not too bad but sometimes it's just all right I've got to start a new piece of music. Um, that can be the most intimidating part of the creative process. To finish off the video, I thought I'd treat you to a dramatic reading of the lyrics. So hopefully in post-production I can like dig out some like wind blowing behind my poetic reading. When the sky crumbles and the ground starts to shake, when all you love turns to dust or some fire to so long as it means you'll come running to me. I am the only man who hasn't spoken since the rivers turned to blood. My eyes are blinded by a world that's turning red. Clouds churn <laughs> like entrails as night falls. Thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon.